Hello everyone, this is Worded Eric Girl from the Mental Ward, and it's Friday, so let's do it. Okay everyone, another quick Friday, just because I feel like playing some games and not exactly talking about them, but that's normal, so let's hop right into it. So some of the first news that I will talk about is Super Smash Bros. just got a shit ton of information for the Wii U. Um, mainly, 8 player Smash. Um, Technically, you can go four, five, six, seven, or eight. Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, but the only thing is that doesn't work online. It's only on the same screen. So that means you gotta have a lot of Wii modes. But I'm pretty sure people have those or GameCube controllers. Correct me. Yeah. There. Another thing for Smash Brothers is Mewtwo was announced that it's gonna be coming out in spring 2015. So that does not mean it's gonna be right away. But Mewtwo is gonna be coming back, and he was a character in Melee. I think he was in Brawl. I can't honestly remember because it's been a, quite a while since I played that one. Uh, next, Outlast 2 is apparently in development by the company that's working on it, which I cannot remember the name of the company because the article's over there, and uh, let me just go look at it. So it is official, Red Barrel, the developer behind Outlast, has come out and said uh, they're making a sequel. So Outlast 2 is in the works, apparently it's going to have new characters, new story, and everything. I'm okay with that, because since I finally played Outlast, I enjoyed it. It was scary, and it made me not want to play it because of how scary it was, so I'm interested in another one, so good on you, and let's see how that one's gonna turn out. One other big piece of news that kind of just slipped under the radar, uh, Titanfall that was released on the Xbox One and PC, also on 360, but that one doesn't really matter, because no one really cares anyway. Uh, back on topic. Uh, Titanfall just released update 8 on the 22nd, or 23rd, I believe, and with that update, they actually introduced the feature to do four-player co-op, and what the co-op is, it's kind of like a horde mode that you would see in Gears of War, and that it's up to six waves of enemies that come, and it's not just like, oh, they'll put like 10 enemies at a time, no, they'll put a shit ton of them, and then they have mortar titans, nuclear titans, so they just run up and blow up in front of the area that you have to protect. Uh, it's actually really cool. It's an interesting addition to the game. I think they probably should have had that when the game came out, but it might have been a last minute decision that they were like, let's work on this instead of delaying the game, which ultimately I think that would have been a smart decision anyway, because every system needs their kind of killer. And the last bit of news I will talk about since it's Halloween and I try and stick to the scary stuff slash horror stuff, uh, Slender the Arrival is actually heading to the Xbox One. I believe it's out now. Uh, I saw the article earlier today, and that's pretty cool. I might pick it up. I don't know, because Slenderman actually really does creep me out, so I don't know if I'll play that one. I was fine with Outlast, but I'm not sure on this one. That's going to do it for today. Uh, sorry I haven't been putting a lot of effort into these Friday ones. It's usually I either have work or I'm off, and I'm enjoying the day, and I just want to sit back, relax, and... Uh, I might actually try and get someone else to try and do some of these videos too, so it's not just me so you don't get annoyed with seeing my face every Friday, I just did the John Cena thing. Never again. Never again. Stay tuned to the channel and uh, more stuff will be coming out. Also apologizing about not putting gameplay videos up. I've been getting called in a lot, so we'll see how next week's gonna go. I'm pretty sure more videos will be up. Uh, a lot of games are coming out next week. A uh, bunch of them in one day, and uh, two of the games that I'm going to be getting, Sunset Overdrive for the Xbox One, and also uh, Lords of the Fallen for the Xbox One. Uh, just because I need a good RPG on there, and it never hurts to get an Insomniac game, especially if it's only on Xbox, that's weird, because that's probably never happened before. Anyway, alright, have a nice weekend, and we'll see you guys on Monday.